Rubble and Uda are working border collies, but they aren't herding dogs. Good boy. They're conservation detection dogs, trained to sniff out elusive and threatened species. We know that border collies are really good at um, both searching and their stamina. Um, that's what we're after for a working dog, is their stamina, both mentally and physically. They were recently given their toughest assignment so far, finding the critically endangered Baba frog, which is being wiped out by a deadly fungus. The dogs are trained to drop and indicate with their nose when they find the smell they're looking for. Going out to the sites at Mount Borbor is probably one of the hardest areas I've had to search in. Just to get out to the site, we're trekking through alpine forest. Scientists say the Bobo frog could go extinct in five to ten years. So Zoos Victoria, a zoo-based conservation organization, is running a captive breeding program in this specially refrigerated bunker. This species is incredibly difficult to detect in the wild. Uh, they live predominantly underground or at least under substrate. But Rubble and Uda had no trouble finding them. The dogs were able to locate the exact site where the frogs were calling from much, much quicker than what we could do uh, just by using ears. Zoos Victoria is now considering using trained dogs to find other endangered species. Particularly for those cryptic and low density species, we think detection dogs might have a really important role to play. In fact, that could be their niche. Luckily, there are new dogs coming up through the ranks, such as Oakley. He's only a puppy, or what we call now a whoppy, a whopping big yeah, puppy. Yeah. Um, and he is just kind of living life at the moment, learning the basics, so obedience and recalls. Oakley is due to start work as a conservation detection dog later this year. We just like border collies. We like their work ethic. We like the fact they can go all day. And we also like the fact that they love to cuddle up at night on the couch. And if they're dreaming about frogs, all the better. Julie Tabo, VOA News.